Coming to Kindle Unlimited this April, E-Steam Goddess of Hell's Aspiring Angel takes on a demonic dominatrix in this all-new E-Steam series adventure. Pre-order your copy of E-Steam Goddess of on Kindle Unlimited or pick up the paperback today. Recently, the Kickstarter for Kwanzaa's comic book, White, got completely funded. And with the funding of Kwanzaa's White is the nail in the coffin for the entire Comicsgate movement. Now, the reason why the funding of Kwanzaa's White puts the nail in the coffin for the Comicsgate movement is because the funding of Kwanzaa's White shows that the Comicsgate movement are a bunch of hypocrites, and it also shows that the Comicsgate movement is not about solutions. Now, when Kwanzaa announced the Kickstarter for his comic book, White, the first people to start making videos towards your Kwanzaa's White were several popular comic skaters, and I saw that action as quite troubling because those actions spoke louder than the words meant to roast your Kwanzaa in many of these videos because those actions showed that your comic skaters were not about solutions. Because if you are protesting so-called SJW comics, which you say have poor quality writing and poor quality art, then why are you giving an individual who is producing so-called SJW comics a platform by talking about his crowdfunding project. If you are supposed to be about improving the quality of comics in the comic book industry, you would think that many of these comic skaters would have been making videos towards projects that featured high quality art and high quality writing. And this is where we have the issue with your so-called comic skaters, because again, this action shows that they are not about solutions and that they are just talking about the problem in the hopes of getting YouTube views for themselves and generating controversy for themselves. Now, the nail in the coffin for the so-called comic skate movement happened when many of these so-called comic skate YouTubers then decided to spend money on Kwanzaa's White. And with them making pledges towards your Kwanzaa's White, this was the nail in the coffin for the Comics Gate movement because this action showed the hypocrisy of the Comics Gate movement because they said they were all about trying to improve the quality of comics in the comic book industry and that they denounced the poor quality writing and art in many so-called SJW books. But we have these same individuals who are not only making videos about your Kwanzaa, then going out here to spend money on your so-called White, which is by Kwanzaa, a book they say is absolutely terrible and know to be absolutely terrible from his previous works such as Black, Black AF, Black Devils Do Die, or whatever it's called. And if you know that these books are poor quality, then why are you supporting this man's crowdfunding campaign? That action right there defines the character of many of your comic skaters and shows that they are not only hypocrites, but they are not, they not only want, they, and they don't want any sort of solution to the issues that they talk about. Because people who are about solutions, they are not going to go out of their way to spend money on a comic book that they know is poor quality. No, people who love comics and care about comics, they are going to leave these poor quality comics on the shelf because they don't want to spend their precious money on them, nor do they want to spend their time reading them because that doesn't really benefit them overall. If you are saying you are about getting quality into the comic shops and you want to improve 
the um, business of comic shops, you would be about trying to promote many of those good indie titles out there and trying to give people alternatives to the books being produced by companies like Marvel Comics, which produces books that many in comics case say they didn't like, like Captain Marvel, Squirrel Girl, Ms. Marvel, Unstoppable Wasp, and even many other titles uh, on the Marvel roster, or DC Vertigo books like Your Hex Wives, Your High Level, and many of these other books. You wouldn't be buying those books. You would be out here trying to promote the books that you know are good, and you'd be out here trying to support the indie creators out here who are making efforts with their crowdfunding projects to make quality books. That would be the actions of someone who wants solutions, but when I look at the actions here, they show that it was all about them trying to exploit the problem and exploit the problem so that they could get YouTube views at Quantra's expense and get him publicity so that he could go out here and get this project funded. So when I look at their actions, they spoke louder than their words, and that's why I believe the nail has been put in the coffin for the Comicsgate movement. Because if you were serious about getting change in the comic book industry and you want to move forward, you don't sit there and continue to support a product that is part of what you believe to be the problem. If this Kwanzaa's book, which is white, is something that you say you that is part of the problem, you're not going to actually put money on it to go buy this book so that he can produce it and so you can have more material to roast on your YouTube channel. That's not what a person does when they want solutions and that's one of the reasons why I walked away from the Comicsgate movement, because it is not a movement towards getting solutions. It is just a group of people who want to be able to milk the problem to enrich themselves at the expense of comic fans, and they have no real effort towards working towards a constructive solution that allows comics to wind up back in the hands of of new readers. My goal as a publisher is I want to get comics in the hands of new readers and I want to be able to get books in the hands of the largest art reading audience possible. For me it's not about um, trying to generate controversy which is what your comic skaters seem to have been doing. They know how to generate controversy in making YouTube videos but again this does not really sell books. All it does is continue the further decline of the comic book industry, which is what we've been seeing going on over the last year as this comics gate has gone on, instead of conditions improving in the comic book industry, conditions continue to decline. And the condition, conditions continue to decline because while everybody's making videos roasting bad comics, nobody is making efforts to go out here and sell good comics or talk about good comics. And as I see it, if you can sit there and make a 25, 30 minute video talking about what's so bad in a comic, then why can't you talk about what is good in a comic and a good comic that sells? That's how you go out here and sell comics to readers because it's word of mouth that sells books to readers. And I don't see much being done as related to the sales aspect to get these brands to a point where they can get competitive on the comics gate side, nor do I see it at the publisher side where many publishers are no longer going out here and trying to promote their books to try to reach new readers like what was being done with the Superman run before your Dan Dido decided to bring in Brian Michael Bendis. The book was sell the book was selling strong. It was generating momentum. He was more interested in generating controversy with your Brian Michael Bendis and going after that group of people who want to be angry at comics instead of trying to try to bring back those readers who genuinely love comics. So I see on both sides 
both sides are just having this codependent relationship with each other where they are doing this victim abuse cycle. And that's one of the things that I believe will put the nail in the coffin for the overall comic book industry. But as it stands right now, your comicscape has no longer any more credibility whatsoever because when you have comic skaters making videos towards your Kwanzaa's White, promoting Kwanzaa's White, giving Kwanzaa's White free press, and then spending money on your Kwanzaa's White, that puts the whole nail in the coffin for their argument because if your argument is you want to improve the quality of comics in the comic book industry, you don't go out of your way to support what you say you're against. Because when you go out here and support what you say you're against, then people can call you a hypocrite because you really aren't what you stand for. You are just standing up for something to get something in return. And again, that's not something a person who is consistent in their actions is. It's action that defines character. That was something I learned in Sid Field's screenplay. And when I look at the character of your comicscape, it's a movement that has no character, no integrity, and is a movement that is dead because it doesn't stand up for what it believes in. That's all I have to say for this video. You can comment, rate, and subscribe. Now available in paperback and Kindle Unlimited, Isis, All That Glitters. The goddess next door takes on a bikini-clad bank robber in this action-packed all-new Isis series adventure. Get Isis, All That Glitters, in paperback and Kindle Unlimited today. Now available in paperback and e-readers, Isis, Samurai Goddess. The goddess next door takes on kung fu killers in this action-packed martial arts Isis series adventure. Get Isis, Samurai Goddess, in paperback and e-readers today.